Hi, I'm Matt Benson, and I'm here with seven things not to do while you're getting a divorce. Uh, the first thing I'd recommend you not do while you're getting a divorce is lie. And I'll get into that broadly. Um, broadly, I think the reason you shouldn't lie while you're getting a divorce is in any kind of contentious proceeding, honesty and your, the value of your word is your stock and trade. There's got to be some amount of trust from you, even if you're breaking up a relationship and if you start lying, you, you don't have that trust and it's not a tool for you to use anymore. Um, and on that basis, uh, don't lie to your spouse. The worst they can do is divorce you and they're already doing that. Don't lie to your lawyer. Your lawyer can't help you if you aren't honest with them. And your lawyer may withdraw from the case if, you with, uh, if you're dishonest with them. And don't ever, ever lie to judges. If you lie to a judge when you're on the stand, they're going to find a way to punish you for it. They may put you in contempt, they may do something else, but whatever they do, it's not going to be pleasant. So don't lie to anybody during a divorce. Two, don't post anything on tw uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or anything like that. Um, in the time I've been doing family law, I've never seen anything from a uh, <clears throat> social media site come into a divorce in a positive way. Um, whether it's uh, people saying somebody's a bad mother, people saying somebody's a bad wife. I mean, it may make you feel good when 30 or so of your friends like that comment. Um, it may make you feel like people are empathizing with you, but it's not doing anything to improve your situation. If you actually want somebody to empathize with you, go out and hang out with your friends and talk about what you're going through. That's healthy. Posting something on the internet to where everybody can see it and potentially your wife or friends or somebody can see it, that doesn't help you. So stay off of social media. Um, same thing with like if you go out drinking and pictures of you doing keg stands and that sort of thing, that doesn't help. That's not <clears throat> making you look like a responsible husband, it's not making you look like a responsible father they're not going to be used for any helpful reasons. Similar case if there's uh, footage of you kissing other men or women on the internet. Um, none of those things make it easier for you to go through the divorce process. And the recurring theme I'm going to get through here is divorces aren't fun and they last longer than anybody wants them to. Um, so you don't want to do anything that's going to make them last longer. Uh, third, don't do any of the petty garbage that your friends suggest you do to get back at your spouse. Um, over the years, I've had clients poop in spouses' yards. Uh, I've had them take baseball bats to their spouse's vehicles. I've had them take baseball bats to their spouse, actually. Um, I've had them try to run over their spouse with cars. I've had them call them up at 2 o'clock in the morning, tell their spouse what a piece of garbage they are. None of those things brings us any closer to the finish line. And the finish line is where we want to be. Divorces aren't fun. Divorces take too long to begin with, and they are less fun, and they take longer the more contentious they are. So don't do any of those things. Fourth, don't send out nasty text messages or emails to your spouse. You know, I know you're hurt. I understand that. But expressing that to your spouse, your spouse is probably hurt in some way, shape, or form too, and you're not helping yourself. It... Uh, makes it harder to resolve things because people want to try to punish each other. It, it just makes things more difficult for the attorneys because, you know, you get phone calls and you think the people are crazy. When those sorts of emails and texts get admitted, it's usually to indicate how unstable the person who sent them is. It's never pointing out how bad that the wife, that the, the, I say the wife, but the person who receives them is. It's always pointing out how bad the person who sent them was. They never help. Don't send emails or text messages to your spouse that tell them they're a bad person, tell them they're a bad wife, tell them they're a bad father, anything along those lines. They're not good. They don't make it easier. Uh, fifth, don't withhold the children. Um, you're probably mad at your spouse. That's one of the reasons you're getting divorced. Don't withhold the kids. Don't use them as a tool to try to manipulate them. It's, <clears throat> it's petty. It's not being a good parent. And it's not bringing your case any closer to a con <clears throat> conclusion because the fastest way to get half a dozen motions to show up 
is when the kids get used as some sort of a tool. None of those motions are free. Responding to those motions are not free. Um, it, it's just, it makes things harder. It makes people dislike each other more. It, it's not good. Sixth, don't call your lawyer every time your uh, spouse does something you dislike. Your spouse does a lot of things you dislike. That's why you're getting divorced. Every time you call your lawyer, you're probably getting billed for it. So unless you want that bill to be really just monumental, don't call your lawyer every time they do something you don't care for. Seven, don't look for reasons to be hurt. Those reasons are out there, and they're probably quite valid, but there are just as many reasons for your spouse to be hurt by you. Both of you did things wrong in the course of your marriage. That's just the reality. Both of you have made mistakes. Um, and you can focus on those mistakes if you want to and wallow in your situation, or you can focus on moving forward. Moving forward is a lot healthier. Uh, you need to start figuring out what the next chapter of your life's gonna look like rather than focusing how you got to this unpleasant one. Those are seven things not to do during a divorce. I'm Matt Benson. Thank you for watching.